everyone! So today GTA 5 came out and yesterday the internet went a little bit mental. Firstly there were the group of people who were tweeting things like, well if you're not buying GTA 5 tomorrow you obviously have a vagina. Seriously. And then because some reviewers said they felt that some parts of the game were a little bit misogynistic but otherwise it was an overall very good game, some people said about, oh women ruining our video games, if you have a vagina you shouldn't even be playing Rockstar games. <laughs> to those people I would just like to say this January Rockstar actually offered me a job as a games tester at Rockstar North. I applied, sent back forms, went for an interview and they offered me a job. Sadly plans changed and I couldn't take it in the end which is like ah. But I just want to say Rockstar are absolutely fine with people with vaginas playing their game because they offered me a job so yeah shut your face. Anyway, the other thing that really annoyed me about stupid people on the internet was all the people bitching about the fact that some people dared to give GTA 5 a 9 out of 10. Oh my gosh, it's like the best game ever, why didn't you give it an automatic 10? Uh, can I just can I just ask all these people who were saying this stuff yesterday, how the fuck do you know? You hadn't even played the game yet, all you'd seen is trailers. Seriously, I am so sick of the fanboys and fangirls just being like, oh, why doesn't everyone automatically like what I like? I am the centre of the universe, therefore everything I like must be perfect. Ah! <sighs> I am a fan of a lot of different things, but I realise not everyone is going to like exactly the same things as me, and I also realise that the things I like, no matter how much I like them, they're not completely perfect. There are many things that I love but still perhaps have a slight problem with certain aspects of it. One way to look at it is that you might have your favourite game ever but there's that one mission that you really really hate having to do or that one game mechanic that you don't like or maybe, you know, you think that the ladies in the game aren't really treated that well or they're not that well developed and you write it in a review and then everyone calls you a bitch because you didn't give it a 10. Seriously, to everyone who's complaining about this stuff, grow the fuck up. And I know I'm swearing a lot in this video, but I just can't get over the sense of entitlement that a lot of really irritating gamers seem to have today. The fact that someone can't write a review which is someone's opinion on a game, their personal opinion without someone telling them that they're wrong about their own opinion. It's an opinion! Also, 99% of the people complaining probably don't work for Rockstar, so in reality, if they just go and buy the game and ignore that review, it has no effect on them whatsoever. Just shut up, grow up, and realise that, you know, people are allowed to have discussions about, you know, the issues that are surrounding video games without someone being a complete child and going but I want everyone to think the same as me! Stop having a go at video games! Ugh. Do you feel that insecure about your own opinion that you have to shout down anyone who has a differing opinion to yours? Anyway, I'm gonna go now, but if you still think that 9 out of 10 is a bad review score, I'm just gonna point you to two links in the description. One to a Mega64 video and the other to a Gymquisition video and you just really need to get some fucking perspective.